Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. It is your girl Yamal here back again with another video. Today I'll be showing you guys how I achieve my eyeshadow look today more so than my skin as well just to see, show you guys how I achieve this look. So I hope you guys learn something from this. So I'm going to show you guys how I achieve this look here on this eye here. So I'm going to go step by step to showing you guys how I achieve this look. So the first thing I like to do is base my eyeshadow. So to base my eyeshadow I'm going in with my NYX Deep and Profound palette in the concealer palette in the yellow color i like to use the yellow color because it is lighter and it makes my eyeshadow stand out more so like to go with the loose powder of your choice i personally like to use the bys loose powder in the shade medium just to set my eyelids as well now that your eyeshadow is set and ready to go i'm going to go with my morphe 35k palette using a blending brush from morphe as well just to go on with that and I'm going to be transitioning with this color here just with this color here you'd like to do the transition shade and just blend make sure you're blending it from the outside or the more of the product on the outside and then you're blending in the rest of the brush on the inside so you'd like to create almost Now we're going back into the same colour, we'd like to do this shape here and this one just underneath, just to deepen your crease. So just pack it into there and then blend it out. And then going into my Huda Rose Gold Edition palette, I'm going to be using Bossy. And back into my um, Morphe palette, I'm going to be using the black colour there, just with a more constant black, with a more flatter, rounder brush as well. Also make sure you're going back to your buffing brush as well, just to bring the colour in. Now going back into my Too Faced Peaches palette, I'm going to be using Tempting. And make sure you're bringing it down all the way into your lashes and just lining your lashes almost to create that smoky effect just at the bottom. back into my Too Faced palette, palette using the buffing brush using the shade Delectable. Let the colour just tap it off on the palette. Just add it back over the black but in between the transition shade just to give it that purpley smoky look. Now going in with a more flat, flattened brush Going into my Peaches palette again using the colour Peach Pit. Find that shade just in the middle of my eyelid. And also to make sure you're dabbing it into the black and not smearing it into the black because you want to make sure that they blend together. Now using a completely flat brush, going to my Peaches palette again, using the colour Berlin. Making sure you're 
blending it out into the purple just so there's a smooth transition as well. And going into my um, Sleek Makeup Storm palette, um, the 578 palette, just using a gold from there. In with a Morphe brush. This is my M330 brush. Just going back into my sleek palette, I'm going to be using Puree and Georgia just to highlight my brow bone. I'm not a fan of highlighter too much, but just to bring in those neutral tones and to set my concealer just under my brow bone. And for mascara today, I will be using the MAC Extended Play Lash. And to apply my lashes today, I will be using an angled, tweez angled tweezers just because I find that they're easier to clamp on my lashes afterwards really just to connect the falsies to my natural lashes as well which create a more of a realistic look, like more of a lifelike look. Um, today I'm going to be using the Revlon Precise Clear Lash Glue as well just to apply these lashes on that I just got online as well. Make sure you don't apply your lashes on straight away. Give them time, do about 10 seconds just to dry in the air as well. I like to blow my lashes as well. So holding it just like that from the center. So the middle first and the outside corner. And then bring in the inner corner. And then once you've done that, you just position it into place. So that's just it for the eyes. I'm gonna go ahead and do my the rest of my face off camera and while I'm baking, I'm just gonna be showing you guys how I smoke out the under eyes. I've gone ahead and done my face off camera. The only reason I look a little bit crazy is because I've still got my setting powder on as well, which is I'm just baking as well at the moment. And I've gone ahead and contoured and also added some blush as well. So now I'm just gonna smoke out under my eyes using my Stormy Sleek Palette again and as a waver brush. And I'm just gonna go in with a green shade, smoke out my lower lash line. And the reason why I leave this until last while I'm baking is simply because it's more of a pop of a color and anything that falls through, I can just brush off with my bake. So I'm just going with my waver brush and using a green, I'm just gonna. And you also make sure, wanna make sure you've got a very light hand as well when you're doing this, because it is your lower lash line and you don't want to Get it, make it too harsh as well. So I just smoke it up all the way to the almost the end where a wing liner is supposed to go because I'm not a fan of wing liner, but I love to smoke out my eye. Go in with my buffing brush and just blend this one in to the outside. And for my lashes, I'm going to go in with a different mascara. I'm going to go in with the Maybelline New York, the Big Shop mascara as well. Just for under my eyes, because the bristles are a lot more separated. So I can get my under eyes without really messing up my... And just using a smaller brush, I'm going to be brushing off my back brush from Morphe just to give myself a quick more of a nose contour snatch up my nose just a little bit more and to highlight my face today we'll be using the Huda Beauty 3D highlighter palette 
in I'm gonna be using Trinidad today and a little bit of Zambezia. So I'm gonna go in with Zambezia first, just because it's got that nice pink look, and I'm gonna pop that almost right over my um, blush. Just Tahiti, I'm gonna be placing just right almost like right on my temple, and I'm gonna be placing in a dabbing motion. Just a highlight, so I only like to put it on my temple just because it almost is too much when you're dragging the gold out all the way too close to your face. So I just like to just put that on the outside. today that I'll be using are the NYX um, liquid suede so the only reason why they're really really small is because I got them in a huge packet with I think it was 24 lips like little lipsticks and yeah I love it I'm gonna be using vintage and soft spoken in with soft spoken and I also like to take off the excess of it just like that because I didn't do it the first time and I know I should have but it comes too much product and it's a really runny product as well. It's a really runny lip product and you just have to wait for it to dry and nobody has really time for that so just wipe that off right there and then place that in the centre. And there you are. There you have it so it is sorry about the quite lengthy video but i hope you guys enjoyed my video and learned something as well so make sure just to like comment and subscribe and also give me a thumbs up and make sure also to hit the notification button to be notified when i post my next videos see you guys in my next video thank you